Hello, I'm John Davis and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to teach you how to use a very simple and effective graphics and design tool called Canva in order to help you create some additional income streams. Now, before I spill the beans on several ways you can make money, you need to realize that this tool is very simple to learn, very easy to use and has tons of features that will make your life easy. So even if you're not a designer or you've tried some of the more complicated design packages before and struggled, you'll be good with this one. My only disclaimer is that what I'm about to show you isn't a get rich quick scheme, they don't exist, it's a legit way of making money if you're prepared to put the work in. That said, let's dive into method one, which is freelance designer for entrepreneurs. So many people are building online businesses, whether it's e-commerce, coaching, consultancy, influencer marketing, there's so many different ways of making money online. And a lot of these people, like me, are really busy, learning tons of skills, and they just don't have time to do everything. This is where you can fit in. So have a good think about what people actually need. The ones that are creating YouTube channels, Facebook groups, blogs, have a think about what kind of artwork, what kind of designs, it could be logos, it could be YouTube channel art like this one, and go through and model what works. So, Catherine Manning's channel has been huge the last year, but have a look at her thumbnails. You can recreate these in Canva. It's basically photos of her with some text over the top. Nothing that you couldn't recreate. Let's have a look at another one. And some of these, don't get me wrong, these are big influencers. These tons and tons and tons of up and coming, rising people that are just getting started with YouTube and Facebook and Pinterest interest and Instagram. There's loads of different types, but these are just to give you an idea of what works and what you can model. So you look at some of the bigger channels like Sunny's, and again, it's yellow background and overlaid picture. You can do all this in Canva Pro. You can cut the person out of the background and then overlay it onto different things. Once you know what people need, that's when you go and look at advertising your services. So let's quick take a quick look at some of the freelance websites. So you've got Fiverr.com, and here's just a few examples that I found. So this person here makes an amazing ebook on Canva, and they're charging, their basic, their going rate is £45. But again, let's have a look at some of the other options. Uh, editable Canva templates for social media. They've got six orders in the queue at the moment, but you can look at existing templates in Canva and you can build on that. More Canva templates. Again, a level one seller, so they're making a living. They might be charging £8.28, but it depends. Once you've done a few of these, it depends what's actually involved in doing it. You might be able to fire these out pretty quick. They're taking the hard work away from the content creator so they can focus on what they need to do. Go to Upwork.com as well. This is where people advertise their services as freelancers. So there's tons of different opportunities on here. But this person is a graphic design, illustration, branding, Canva, animation, GIF. All of them, if you look at my other videos in the description below, all of them are possible in Canva using some of the really good features that they've put on Canva Pro. She's made over 30 grand so far. More examples. Canva Expert currently charging $25 an hour. So that gives you an idea of some of the opportunities you've got as a freelancer. Think about what people need and how you can help them. Maybe focus on one specific thing. Go and advertise that on Upwork, Freelance.com, Fiverr.com and find people that are willing to pay you to do that part for them. Next up, we're going to be looking at merch design. This is basically the process of creating graphics and designs and putting them onto merch such as t-shirt, mugs, pillows. We're going to be creating these designs in Canva and we're going to be selling them on Redbubble. So Redbubble is a platform for selling merch. It could be t-shirts, mugs, stickers, hoodies, you name it, they sell it. And all you have to do is upload a simple design. So we've just done a quick search for eat the frog quotes and these are images that we can easily create in Canva. I've just done a couple myself. If we just jump into Canva, I've just done this one here, but there's tons. Because Canva's got so many of these elements and photos and thousands of different font types, I mean, these are all just frogs that you get with as part of the elements and icons uh, feature of Canva Pro. So we've just added this one. We download it and upload it to Redbubble. Really straightforward. Again, I've just created a quote. Quotes are a good one. If you're looking for something just to get started, something simple, something basic, and just think of some quotes that are positive and people would want to put on on their mug and have that feel good factor so a bit like that one I've done there and I'll just quickly show you how easy it is to upload these we literally just go in and we click on this and we click on add new work once that comes up we upload new work and we then select the design that we created in Canva 
It genuinely is as simple as that. We add a title, we add some tags so that people can find it in a description, and then we go through, and each one of these, these are all the different product types, and it's just a case of enabling them and resizing them if you need to resize them. So there you go. If you went onto my Redbubble store, now you could buy that sticker. Now you set your own prices as well, so if you want to make enough of a margin to make it worth your while, then you set the prices. If your design's good enough, people will pay for it. But as you can see, there's tons of different product types. Now success is a numbers game, so just upload as many designs as you can think of. Like say, if you want to build up your store and just get things on there fast, then I'd just go for quotes. Number three is we're going to become an Etsy seller. Now, Etsy is a marketplace for handmade gifts. It's a website that my wife will spend days of her life lost looking at quirky handcrafted designs. But there are actually some sellers creating direct from Canva. So what I would do is have a look on Etsy for printables. This works for invitations, posters, prints, customized quotes. It's a cheap way for people to buy the digital file because they haven't yet decided on the size or the frame. And it can also just pay you to personalize it. And and how easy is that? You've already got the template set up in Canva. You go in, you add their name, the date of birth, the day they got married, and there you are, you're done. So they might not go for massive money, but when you're selling them in bulk, it does make a difference. I'm going to use this one as an example. This one that says, nice bum. Who doesn't want a picture on the wall that says, nice bum? Especially when you've got a nice bum. So we'll just click on that one. And as you can see there, so they're selling that for $3.95. If we click on the uh, options, now they are selling it where they'll use like a uh, print and frame on demand service there. But really, they're just sell selling a printable file. So for £4, which is probably about $5-ish, then you can buy that poster. And all they're doing is sending you a digital file. So that digital file you've created once and you don't have to create it again. You're not going in printing. You're not going in doing anything else. It's created once and it's done. And if we just jump into Canva now, you can see this took me about three, maybe four minutes to design. It's literally a yellow square and it's just got nice bum written. So if we just change the font, you can see how I've done it. So created this square, coloured in a white frame and then made the font white. And I'd say, I think I'm, I'm quite proud of myself here, actually. I was never particularly good at artwork when I was at school, but I think I'd hang that one on the wall. Um, but if you have a look at that compared to the original, like I say, a couple of minutes work, they're selling it for £4, and they've had almost 6,000 sales on their site. Again, success is a numbers game. Just get your designs out there, get them uploaded, set them, forget them, move on, just bulk up that store and sell via Etsy as these printables. It's a great little option to make money with Canva. Now, number four, we're actually going to teach other people. So, okay, I know what you're going to say. I'm not good enough to teach others. Well, guess what? You are. And if you're not, you soon will be with enough practice. YouTube is your oyster. So here's what you need to do. You need to put everything else to one side. You need to focus on just learning anything and everything about Canva. And then you're going to teach other people exactly what you've learned. It just takes a bit of practice, it takes a bit of dedication, a bit of resourcefulness, but look, YouTube is brilliant. YouTube has literally got tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. If that isn't enough, then go to the actual Canva site. If you look at the top here, there's a little tab that says learn. Click on learn, and it's going to take you to their design school. There's loads of free classes in here. So Canva in the classroom, social media, graphic design basics, branding, presentations, just tons and tons and tons of tutorials and material for you to learn and hone in and really perfect those Canva skills. Like I say, put everything else to one side. Stop looking at every get-rich-quick scheme there is. Stop looking at every influence that there is. Just focus purely on getting absolutely brilliant at Canva. Tons of it. It's such an easy program to learn. That's the beauty of this. That you can make money on Canva because it's so easy to pick up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to show other people how to do exactly what you've just learned. Just put your own spin on it. Don't copy it word for word. Put your own spin on it. And there's a couple of places that we can do that. So Udemy, you can apply to put a course on Udemy. Now, you don't have to go in and do 50 hours worth of tutorials. You can put little simple courses that are very specific. So you can either go for a general, this is everything to do with Canva course, or you can pick a very niche part of Canva and just create... Um, just create a course on that. It can be a little mini course that leads people back to your website and back to a bigger course that you sell yourself. Another option is Skillshare as well. And I've got a friend that's making a good few hundred dollars every single month from Skillshare, from videos that they uploaded about a year ago. They created them, they set them, they forgot about them, and they're there ticking away and just earning a little bit of money every single month. But again, with Skillshare, you've got a couple of options for making money. 
And you can see some examples here that I've done a search for that are Canva related. But how earnings work with Skillshare, if you look at this article, there's basically two ways. Every time you refer someone to sign up for Skillshare, you're going to get $10 as a kind of a one-off fee for them signing up. And that's fine. It's not a massive amount, but it's, it's better than a kick in the teeth. And you're then going to get royalties. So unlike Udemy, where Udemy, you're going to get your commission, you're going to make your money if they buy your course. With Skillshare, you're going to earn some money even if they just watch one or two minutes. It's like a royalties-based program based on the number of minutes that they watch in your class every single month. There's some people that are making a full-time living out of creating courses on Skillshare. I don't want you to feel like you cannot do this because you absolutely can. Just go all out to learn every single function and button and every single feature that is on Canva and then teach other people how to do it and how they can apply that to their business. Number five, and by far my favorite, is affiliate marketing. So this is the process of using social media to recommend products and services. If someone uses your link to buy that product or service, then you get a commission. It's a really good way of making money online. It's a $12 billion industry. So what a lot of people do is they're creating content that recommends Canva. They're creating reviews, they're creating tutorials. You can have a look here on Google. There's various different sites here. Canva Pro Review, is it worth paying for? Now, if you go into them reviews and they'll be a button in there that takes you to Canva. If you buy Canva through that button, then they're going to get a commission. It's the same with YouTube as well. So if we go into YouTube and we type in Canva review and we look at this top one by Anthony Godinho, he's got almost 10,000 views and that's five years old. That's the beauty of YouTube, by the way. Um, YouTube will continue to promote good videos long after they were created. So 10,000 views. Now you think if even a few of them people have clicked on that review and signed up for Canva, then Anthony's quite rightly getting a commission for going to the efforts of creating that content. And this is what you can do as well. Almost everything has some kind of recommendation that you can make for an affiliate program. Now, one downside is the Canva affiliate program is actually quite hard to get accepted. So I'm going to tell you a little hack in a second of how you can get around that. But some affiliate programs you apply and it doesn't matter on your experience and where you're currently creating content and how big your audience is, they'll just say, yes, that's fine, go and promote our product. Others will be more fussy. They'll want to kind of retain that brand control and they'll only want big influencers to, to promote their products and services. And I think that's the case with Canva. They've definitely rejected me. They definitely said, John Davis, on your way, son. You're not big enough yet. Come back when you're a big boy. Um, but if you look at that, you can earn up to $36 for each Canva Pro subscriber. So if you've got content out there that's repeatedly bringing people in and gaining views, you've got passive income there. You put a link to Canva, and as more people are watching it, they're clicking on your link, they're earning you a commission. And that's fair enough, because that's what I think content creators should get. Content creators should be rewarded for helping people, for offering guidance, for giving them opportunities. That's exactly how affiliate marketing works. It's a win-win-win situation. But, like I say, Canva itself can be quite difficult to get on the affiliate program. So here's a workaround, and I'm going to put a link to this in the description below. If you go to a site called Skimlinks, now what Skimlinks do is they're almost like an aggregator for tons of different merchants. So you can see there we've got Nike, TripAdvisor, Microsoft, ASOS, Zappos. These tons and tons and tons, all for different countries, different types of affiliate earnings. I mean, if you click on this link here and go to Microsoft, then you're going to get up to 7% commission for anyone that clicks on that link. So you can see this applies to almost any niche. And Skimlinks also has Canva. So if Canva rejects you for their own affiliate program, then you can almost bypass them and use Skimlinks. So they're actually paying Skimlinks and Skimlinks will pay you. Like I say, check out the description below, go and have a route around, go and have a test of it, see what you think. But that's what I'm doing. If you go into the description, you think, you know what, John, I love that video that you created and I'm going to sign up for Canva Pro. I like the fact that it's a good opportunity to make money. I like the features that are on there. And for the price, it's got a lot of value in there. So I'm going to sign up for them. And as a thank you, I'm going to use your link and I'm going to click on that. I'm going to sign up for Canva. Then I would get a commission. That is affiliate marketing. It can be such an amazing way of making money on the internet. Anyone can get started with affiliate marketing and use blogs, YouTube, any social media platform to make money. Personally, I've managed to grow my earnings from zero to 5K and I'm looking to double that, if not quadruple that this year. And if I can do it, then anyone can do it. So if you want to know if it's worth you getting started with affiliate marketing, then check out the next video.